That's God. You can't fault God for anything. Amen. So, but we want to remember the same, Sister Deborah Lyman. Amen. That the Lord will move upon her, that Amen. He will touch her, and all of the saints, those that we don't know that might be affected by the virus. Amen. Amen. As a whole, we want to pray for the people of God around the world. Amen. So at this time, Deacon Leroy, please lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you today. We thank you, Lord, for your meaningful blessings you bestowed upon us for watching over and keeping us. Lord, you've allowed us yet again to come together in your house one more time. We're asking, Lord, that you allow the Holy Ghost to glorify thy son Jesus tonight. Lord, have your way, we pray. Bless our pastor. Lord, inspire him with your words, Lord, that he may be able to deliver your word unto your people. And open our ears, open our hearts, dear Lord. Help us to hear and understand and put your word down in our hearts, Lord, that we may be able to grow closer to thee in these last and evil days. We're asking, Lord, special prayer, dear Lord, as we continue to face this virus that is upon us, Lord. We ask that you bless each and every one of us, watch over us and protect us, Lord, the saints, Lord, that have come sick. We're asking, Lord, that you touch and deliver their bodies right now. Have your way, Lord, your will be done and your power prevail. Bless and keep, Lord, all the saints, Lord, not able to be in your house tonight. We're asking, Lord, that you encourage their heart. Keep them, Lord, with a mind to run on as never before. Be with us and stand by us, we pray. We thank you. We praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Leroy. Amen to the saints of God. Amen to our viewers that view this broadcast. Amen. Take our time from your busy schedule. Amen. To tune into this broadcast. And I often say this is not the only broadcast on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Not the only broadcast among the true apostolic churches of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. But we certainly here to, amen, encourage each other. That's right. Praise the Lord. To encourage each other, praying one for the other. Amen. That each and every broadcast of this broadcast coming from the true apostolic churches would be a blessing. Amen to our listeners, amen, and to those that follow, amen, the teaching coming from the true apostolic churches of Jesus Christ, amen. Association Incorporated. So we greet you in the precious name of Jesus and our presiding bishop and officer, amen, is Bishop E.H. Hill, amen, based out of Elba, Alabama. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, our vice president is Bishop Hubert Phillips, based out of Rochester, New York. Praise the Lord. The second vice president is a little fellow that you're looking at. Amen. He's based out of Little Ithaca. Praise the Lord. Now in the third, amen, vice. Amen is Bishop Ernie Jones. Amen, based out of Orlando, Florida. Praise the Lord. And then we got someone else in Florida. Amen. Our next bishop, Bishop Brown Gibson, He's based out of Pensacola, Florida. Amen. So these names, or these five bishops, are considered as the five smooth stones. Amen. That David desired to pick up from the brook. Amen. As he faced Goliath. Amen. But all he needed was one. Uh, but at least he had some backup. Praise the Lord. So Bishop Hill have backups. Praise the Lord, but we thank God for all of the bishops. We're praying for them, that the Lord will prosper them, the Lord will bless them, and those that are under them, amen, that is teaching and carrying on the work of God. We just want you to know that from Ithaca, we are praying for you. Amen. amen. So we're grateful again just to be back before the people of God. Amen. To the saints of God, amen. It's been a long time since we've been able to mingle and come together praise the lord but soon and very soon amen whenever the will of the lord is amen we'll be back together being able to lift up the name of the boy lift up the name of the lord all right amen uh, and praise the lord together yes. i just hope that churches around the world amen they, they might need to take up time to strengthen the floors Amen. And strengthen the walls. All right. Make sure the benches are just right. 
And I know when folks start getting a chance to go back to church, they'll be just, be just bubbling over. Yes, Lord. Amen. So make sure the floor is sturdy enough. Right, all right. Some people might end up in the basement. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we know they're excited to get back to the house of the Lord. Yes, sir. And we miss you all, too. We miss the saints of God. We miss traveling and being with the saints and seeing the saints. But on Tuesday night, I was just sitting in my living room and opening up my Bible and reading and asking the Lord to give me something. And it seemed like everywhere I turned, it just seems as though like it just wouldn't let me praise the Lord. But finally, I began to fleece the Lord. And after a while, amen, he gave me a scripture that I never thought that would I have to teach from. Praise the Lord. But you open up my understanding about some things. That's why the Word of God is ever new. And we don't want to take out too much time. Amen. We want to call your attention to the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter number 5. Acts, chapter number 5. Acts, chapter number 5. Praise the Lord. Acts, chapter number 5. We're going to start off at verse number 1. All right, dig a lead. But a certain man, a certain man, named Ananias, mm -hmm. with Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession. All right, now these two individuals, husband and wife, uh -huh. were believers. Praise the Lord. You said, well, preacher, how you know that they were believers? They can just briefly go on back to chapter number, amen, chapter number four. Uh-huh. Let's read verse number 33. All right. Chapter 4, verse 33. And with great power. And with great power. Gave the apostles witness. All right. Of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Uh, all right. So the apostles gave um, witness. Uh -huh. Of the resurrection of the. That's why I said now an apostle have to be one that witness the resurrection of Jesus Christ for you to be called an apostle like the twelve. Uh -huh. Some people use the office because an apostle just means one that is sent out. Yeah. All right, but the Lord only see twelve. Yes. Praise the Lord. According to the foundation and the gates. All right. Mm -hmm. But many others in the Bible were called apostles. They used that office, but it was not in the way like the twelve. Mm -hmm. All right. And great grace and great grace was upon them all. Was upon them all. Neither was there any among them. Neither was there any among them that lacked. That lacked. For as many as were possessors mm -hmm. of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of the of the things that were sold. All right. So they sold their lands and houses and they brought the money. Mm -hmm. All right. And the things that were sold. And laid them down at the apostles' feet. All right. They laid them down not just at anyone's feet, but directly at the apostles' feet. And this distribu distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. All right, so the saints in Jerusalem was considered very poor. Mm -hmm. All right, now as you see the beginning of the church, the people had a mind to see about each other. And they were willing, amen, to sell their lands uh, and even their houses, praise the Lord. If that's what it took, amen, to help the poor saints in the church at Jerusalem. So they had a concern one for the other. All right. And Jose, mm -hmm. who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. All right, so I wanted to read that. So going into chapter 5, amen, from chapter 4, then you go into chapter 5. Yeah. And I said many times, amen, to get a better understanding of a chapter, read the previous chapter. Mm -hmm. All right, because back in the days, amen, there were no such thing as chapters. Mm -hmm. Uh, everything was just in a scroll. Yes. All right. But those that came together, amen, was able to put it in form of chapter. Mm -hmm. But the original text was not in chapters. Man. All right. So that's why if you're going to go to chapter 5 of a book in the Bible, read chapter 4 so you can get a better understanding. Because most of the time, or almost all of the time, it's a continuation. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so in the beginning of the church, all right, they sold land mm -hmm. uh, and houses, and they brought the money yeah. and laid them at the apostles' feet. Yes. Now, as we go over to chapter number five, but a certain man named Ananias yes. with Sapphira, uh -huh. his wife, so, they also sold their what? A possession. All right, they had possession and they sold it. It was their possession. All right, it was not the apostles' possession, mm -hmm. but it was their possession as husband and wife. Mm -hmm. All right, read. And kept back part of the price. All right, he kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it, mm -hmm. and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. All right, and all right, so they sold the possession. Mm -hmm. But this is where they went wrong. They and kept back what? Kept back part of the price, meaning they kept back part of the money. Yeah. Uh, and his wife also had the knowledge of it. Uh-huh. In other words, both of them. That's right. Uh, both of them agreed, amen, to do it the way they did it. That's right. All right. Now let me give you my text the Lord give me. All right. Baby. Don't let Satan build a home in your mind. Mm-hmm. I'm going to show you something now. Don't let Satan build a home in your mind. And I'm going to explain to you when have Satan or when do we accomplish building a home in your mind. All right. So they brought part of the money yeah. uh, and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said. But Peter said. Ananias. Ananias. Why have Satan filled thine heart? Why have Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? To lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land. All right. So now there was a unseen force. Mm -hmm that Ananias and Sapphira listened to. Mm -hmm. And the person that they listened to was the devil. Mm -hmm. All right, now, the devil's main tool is deception. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. That's his main way of entering and accomplishing whatsoever he desired to accomplish. That's right. Satan's main, main method is deception. All right, now let's go to Genesis chapter number three. Mm -hmm. All right, Genesis three, verse one through eight. Now the serpent. Now the serpent was more subtle. All right, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. Which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman. All right, so subtle means very cunning. Very cunning. Uh, deceiving. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, appearing to be something that he is not. Mm -hmm. All right, read. And he said unto the woman. He said unto the woman. Yea. Yea. Have God said. Have God said. Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. All right, so he had a knowledge of what God said. That's right. Because I'm going to read another chapter, amen, how he ended up on this earth. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So he had a knowledge, amen, about the makeup of man. Praise the Lord. Not only that, but he had a knowledge of the commandment. Right. that God gave to Adam That's right. and Adam gave to his wife Eve. That's right. That's right. All right, read. And the woman said unto the serpent. All right, now, this is where the woman went wrong. All right, the first thing she went wrong is listening to the devil. Mm -hmm. Now, if she had tuned him out, she would have done well. Mm -hmm. All right, but she listened to him. Now, that's the first step, amen, of Satan building a home in your mind. All right. All right. When you listen to him mm -hmm. and when you give him the attention that he needs, mm -hmm. all right, that's all he needs. And he's going to keep working on you yeah. and working on you until he's able to accomplish building a home in your mind. Yes, sir. All right, read. We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. All right, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. All right, all the trees that are fruit trees, yeah. we may eat of it. That's right. All right, no restriction on those trees. Mm -hmm. All right. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, mm -hmm. God hath said. God 
have said, Ye shall not eat of it. All right, ye shall not eat of it. Neither shall ye touch it. Neither shall ye touch it. Lest ye die. Lest ye die. And let me say, no one knows what type of fruit was on that tree. That's right. All right, it's been taught many years. Huh? It was an apple. Mm -hmm. The Bible never said what type of fruit tree it was. No, sir. All it said, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Whatever fruit it was, it is not recorded. So don't put no apple in God's word. All right, Bishop. Praise the Lord. Read, Deacon. And the serpent said unto the woman. And the serpent said unto the woman. Ye shall not surely die. Oh, so he said you won't surely die. For God doth know. See, God knows that in the day you eat thereof, God knows in the day that you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened. Then your eyes shall be opened. Ye shall be as God. Ye shall be as God. Knowing good and evil. Knowing good and evil. And when go ahead. read. And when the woman saw. Alright, now the woman kept on looking. Mm -hmm. Alright, and from listening, yes. she kept looking. Praise the Lord. And the more she looked now, yeah. praise the Lord. Now that seed is being planted. Mm -hmm. All right, read it. She saw that the tree was good for food. When she saw that the tree was good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eye. But let me say this. You know, that tree was in the garden even before she was even came on the scene. That's right. And she had no problem obeying. Mm -hmm. But the minute the devil got in the garden, because he got in, praise the Lord, huh? Whenever the devil get in, mm -hmm. you can guarantee, amen, that he's going to start talking. Yeah. And if you don't know how to resist him and what to use to resist him, he will end up building a home in your mind. Yes, sir. All right, so when she saw that the tree was good for food, pleasant to the eye, and it was pleasant to the eye, and a tree to be desired, and a tree to be desired, to make one wise. All right, yeah, no, she saw that this thing can make me wise. She took up the fruit thereof. All right, she decided to took up the fruit thereof, and did eat, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband, and gave also unto her husband, with her, with her, and he did eat, and he did eat, and the eyes of them both, all right, the eyes of them both were open, and they knew, and they knew, that they were naked, that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves all together, all right, they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons, and made themselves aprons, and they heard the voice of the Lord God, and they heard the voice of the Lord God, walking in the midst in the garden, walking in the garden, in the cool of the day, in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife, Adam and his wife, hid themselves, hid themselves, from the presence of the Lord God, from the presence of the Lord God, amongst the trees of the garden, amongst the trees of the garden, so you see now, Satan just start talking, mm -hmm. and from talking, amen, Eve, give him the attention that he needed, yes sir, and the more she gave him the attention, he was able to plant that seed. Yes. Now, the more that seed was planted in her, began to plant, then that seed was conceived in her mind. Mm -hmm. Now, the evidence that Satan now had built a home in her mind is when she took of the fruit. Yeah. And ate. Once she ate of that fruit, Satan now had control over her. Oh, yeah. And now, because he had control over one, he was not satisfied with just the wife. All right, his ultimate goal was to destroy the man and destroy both of them or destroy God's creation through disobedience. All right, so once Adam had two, praise the Lord, Satan took over their mind. All right, and because he took over their mind, all right, now they begin to live according to their conscience. They realize that they sin. Mm -hmm. All right, they disobey. Because remember now, once Satan calls you to go against God, praise the Lord. If you are someone that your conscience is still operating, you will realize what you did because your mind will tell you. Yeah. You know you should have said what you said. That's right. You know you should have did what you did. That's right. You know you should have went that place that you went to. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is what the Holy Ghost does for the believers. Amen. All right. It let us know. Amen. When we go wrong, praise the Lord, so that we can get back on track. Amen. So Adam and Eve, amen, allowed the devil, amen, to build a home in their mind because they listened to
to him, praise the Lord, and in listening to him, they begin to act on what the devil was saying. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this is what he did to Adam and Eve. Now I want to show you now how did Satan came into this world and what was going on in heaven that caused him to end up on this earth. All right, Revelation chapter number 12. Verse number 7. Verse number 7. And there was war in heaven. All right, there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels. All right, so there was war in heaven. Praise the Lord. And you may say to yourself, you mean to tell me that there was war in heaven where God dwelt? Mm -hmm. Yes, there was war in heaven because the Bible said there was war in heaven. Amen. And I believe it's the heaven where God's throne is. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, Revelation chapter number 12, verse number 7. I'm going to show you, praise the Lord, that it was the heaven where God's throne is. All right. Read. There was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Michael and his angels. Fought against the dragon. All right. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought. And the dragon fought. And his angels. All right. So now there's a war going on in heaven mm -hmm. among the angelic hosts. Yeah. All right. And the angelic hosts are ministering spirits yeah. that God created. Amen. To dwell in heaven with him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, the angelic host in heaven, if they don't get married like human beings do. That's right. They neither marry or given into marriage. And every time I read this Bible, I have never read where the Bible left, left on record that there was ever a female angel. All right. Never in the book. You can never read. Nobody can find in the Bible no. where there's a female angel. No, sir. The Bible always reference to what? Male uh, and, um, beings. Uh -huh. All right? Male beings, if you let me put it that way. All right? Amen. But they're not men. But they can appear and look like men. They are spirit beings. That's right. All right? They are not human, but they can put on human form. This is what Paul said. Don't forget to entertain stranger. Yeah. For in entertaining stranger, you entertain what angels unaware. unaware. So a, a stranger can come into the assembly, and you may think that's just someone decide to visit. Uh -huh. But that person can be an angel directly from heaven. That's right. Uh, and he can come and sit in the service, observe the service. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Now I don't know if he will give a testimony, but I know that if he, you can entertain angels unaware. That's right. All right. They can take note of the service. Mm -hmm. All right. Read it. And the dragon fought. And, his and the dragon fought. And his angel, Satan. All right. We're we going to get his name. All right. All right. He fought. And his angels. And prevailed not. All right. And they prevailed not. Neither was their place found. All right. Neither was their place found. Anymore. Anymore. In heaven. In heaven. And the great dragon. Praise the Lord. Now, and the great dragon. Now, listen. His name now is going to change from the great dragon. Was cast out. He was cast out. That old serpent. All right. He was cast out of heaven. Mm -hmm. Because, now I ain't got time to go, but reference in scriptures, you can go to Ezekiel 28 and Isaiah chapter number um, 14. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Ezekiel 28, Isaiah chapter number 14. Satan was a beautiful angel. Oh, yes, he was. All right. He walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire, right. meaning the angels. Yeah. All right. But where he went wrong, he was not satisfied with his position. All right. And because of his beauty mm -hmm. and because of the angels that was able to look up to him, he allowed himself to be lifted up yeah. because of his beauty. Yeah. All right. And he was not satisfied with the position God gave him. He actually wanted God's throne. That's right. All right. When you read it, he said, I will exalt myself. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will. I will. Praise the Lord. So that's why you got to watch that word I because it started with Lucifer. Mm -hmm. All right. And he introduced that word. I will do this. Mm -hmm. I will do that. Mm -hmm. And he was not settled. Mm -hmm. He was not satisfied with the position. Now let me say this, be satisfied with whatever position God gives you. 
All right, don't try to get in a position that God didn't place you. That's right. Uh, if he placed you in a position, amen, he know that you can function. That's right. And be faithful in that position because he may use that position, amen, as a stepping up. That's right. Praise the Lord, as a form of graduating. Uh-huh. All right, but you got to meet those requirements and he may put you at the door of the church. Yeah. He may put you in the back bench. Mm -hmm. uh, but from the back bench, if you serve God faithfully and you remain faithful, remember now, promotion don't come from the east. That's right. It don't come from the west, the north, or the south. Promotion comes from the Lord. Amen. And all you got to do is humble yourself. That's it. Uh, and he will exalt you when in due time. So let God do the exalting. Be satisfied with the position that you have. Uh, in the, in the body of Christ have something to offer. Oh yeah. You don't have to be on the pulpit to have something to offer. That's right. Uh, you have something to offer by just being in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And every believer, amen, must be a witness. Amen. But you just don't witness the way the preacher is doing it. That's right. All right, but every believer is a witness. That's right. All right, read Deacon. And the great dragon was cast out. The great dragon was cast out. That old serpent. All right, so listen to his name. That old And he's doing it right now through the form or method of deception. Man. All right, read it. He was cast out into the earth. All right, he was cast out into the earth. That's how he ended up in the garden. Mm -hmm. He was not cast out in the world. He was cast out. He was cast down where? To the earth. That's right. And the reason why he was cast down to the earth, because the gathering together of the water, God called them sea. Mm -hmm. But the dry land, God called earth. That's right. And that's where God planted the garden on the earth. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's why Satan was cast down and he went down to the earth where Adam and Eve was dwelling in God's paradise or in God's garden. Mm -hmm. All right. Read. And his angels and his angels were cast out with him. Was cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice. And I heard a loud. Let me say no. The angels that was cast out with the devil I don't believe those are loose. No, sir. Jude said they are reserved. That's right. You never uh, in everlasting chains uh -huh. unto the great judgment. Praise the Lord. So I don't believe the angels are loose. No, sir. If the angels are loose, then the Bible don't contradict itself. Mm -hmm. So if the, de if the angels are bound, then it could not be the angels that went into the daughters of men and had children. That's right, Bishop. Praise the Lord, huh? So angels don't reproduce. They're not able to do that. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. They're just ministering spirit. Yeah. Now the devil was left loose. This is why the Bible said he is the God of this world. That's right. All right, the devil is out in the world and he's moving from one place to another seeking whom he may devour. Man. All right, so the world or the atmosphere is the place of his dominion. Mm -hmm. All right, read. And I heard a loud voice. And I heard a loud voice saying, Now is come. Now is come. Salvation and strength. Salvation and strength. And the kingdom of our God. The kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ. All right, the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brother. Alright, the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Is cast down. Now the brethren is talking about the church. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Because the next verse is going to tell you, praise the Lord, or explain to you why the brethren is considered as the church. And the devil is the accuser of the saints. He accused us before God day and night. Mm -hmm. In other words, God never gives Satan an opportunity to repent. Yes. Matter of fact, you never read where Satan even tried to repent. That's right. Praise the Lord. So because he never repented, God got rid of him. Mm -hmm. And because God got rid of 
but now he came down to the earth and he is the accuser of the saints of God. In other words, if the saints do wrong and God don't destroy them, then he goes to God and says, God, look what you did to me. Uh -huh. You cast me out because I disobeyed. But look what they did yeah. and now you ain't doing nothing to them. Uh -huh. The reason why God is not going to do that, praise God, because remember now, we have an advocate. Yeah. Satan don't have no advocate. That's right. But the church have an advocate, yeah. someone to go to God on their behalf. That's right. Praise the Lord. So when a believer do wrong, praise the Lord, it's not saying that God don't want to strike them down. Mm -hmm. All right, but Jesus goes to the Father. Yeah. And he's just like the husband man said, give me what? One, One more year. year. Yeah. All right, let me work on them. All right, let me work with that sister. Let me work with that believer. Yeah. How is Jesus working through the Holy Ghost and the Word? I work. Praise the Lord. So the church have an advocate, someone to go between them and God mm -hmm. on their behalf. This is why Paul said we have a mediator yeah. between God and man, no man, the man Christ Jesus. Yes, but Satan had no one to go between him and God. That's right. But the church too. I'm so glad the church do have an advocate. Because yes, if the church never had one, there would be no church. That's right. All of us would be <laughs> in hell right now. That's right. Because all of us have sinned mm -hmm. and come short of the glory of God. Man. All right, read Deacon. And they overcame him. And they overcame him. The brethren, the church overcomes the devil. By the blood of the Lamb. All right, so you see why it's the brethren, it's the church. All right, because angels, praise the Lord, they are in heaven. They don't know nothing about being redeemed. That's right. That's why the Bible said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Right. So those that follow Satan are reserved, but the other angels are free in heaven. Mm -hmm. But the brethren is talking about the church. Yeah. All right, they overcame the devil. By the blood of the Lamb. Praise the Lord, by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony. All right, so when we testify of what the blood of Jesus had done for us, we overcome the devil by the blood of Jesus and read by the word of our, their testimony. All right, by the word of their testimony. 